Fire, please come. Let's celebrate them. Check, check, two. Check, one, two, one, two. Check, check, one, two. Hallelujah. Check, one, two. Check, check, one, two. Hallelujah. Check, check, one, two. Hallelujah. Check, one, two, one, two. Praise the Lord. Check. One, two, hallelujah. We are marching in the light of God. We are marching in the light of God. We are clapping in the light of God. We are clapping in the light of God. We are smiling in the light of God. We are smiling in the light of God.
Let's appreciate these are teenagers. Let's put our hands together once again for one of our beloved sister by the name Sister Omoni Omoni. And she takes us now that round of grace. Let's celebrate grace of God. Hallelujah. In our life. Hallelujah. If you are clapping for Jesus for this wonderful things that God has done, can you jump to your feet and clap for Him very well? Jesus has done marvelously well. If that clapping is the, for the God of Olukoya, the God of talk and do, the God where you know they fail, as they talk and they do it, now the God where they do the thing where you they talk, the God where you know they disappoint, can you help me put that hands together to, for Jesus once again? Hallelujah. Amen. <laughs> Are you ready? Hallelujah. Do your eyes like this. Hey. Have a very 
will come up we would like to appreciate some of our father and the lord who are present here this afternoon we want to appreciate their presence and as i call them one by one please i want you to celebrate the grace of god in the allies we have one the council chairman of this region who is here in our midst this afternoon the person of pastor ayo smith why don't you put your hands together and celebrate grace Daddy, god bless you thank you for coming also, daddy's wife is also present. The person of Pastor Mrs. B. A. Smith. Mommy, God bless you. Let's appreciate God in their lives. Also, another one of our father and the Lord is here, a regional overseer, the person of Pastor Adeleke Ezekiel. 
We also have in our midst a regional overseer, Pastor Mrs. Omolaya Buraimo. We also have another regional overseer in our midst this evening, Pastor Obafemi. Let's appreciate God in their lives. Also, we have Pastor Joshua Adeyekun, is another regional overseer in our midst. Also, we have Pastor Oyeyi Garotimi in our midst, a regional overseer. We have also Pastor Patrick in Amis, a regional overseer. Here we can see that this regional headquarters is lucky today to have the contingents of anointed men and women of God in this region. We'll come back to acknowledge the presence of other regional overseer. Let's listen to the ministration of the deliverance praise team. God bless us in Jesus' name. Somebody shout, Holy Ghost fire! Somebody shout fire! You cannot sit down and be shouting that fire. If you want the fire of God in this place today, shout fire! Some people are still sitting down in me. I said if you want to charge yourself today, before our mother and the Lord comes in, shout fire! Hallelujah! Say, fire possessed me, fire possessed. Fire possessed. 
to your destiny. Call upon the fire of God. Recharge yourself. Recharge your life. Recharge your life. Recharge your life. Recharge your life. Let the fire of God begin to do. Put your two hands together for Jesus. Let's have a seat for a few minutes. We we'll also like to appreciate the presence of our fathers in the Lord in our midst. And as I call them now in no particular order, please put your hands, two hands together to celebrate the grace of God upon their lives. We appreciate the presence of the senior regional overseer, Pastor Ima Adegboy. Let's put our hands together for Jesus. Also, many in the house might not know that the man who is the regional overseer of music at MFM International Headquarters is also here. The person of Pastor Sam Oloyede is a senior regional overseer with the Mountain of Fire American Ministries. Also, we'd like to appreciate the presence of Pastor Oluwole Adekomi, a regional overseer. Let's celebrate Jesus in their life. Also, we have in our midst, Pastor Mrs. Oluwole Roda. Let's celebrate Jesus. Also, we have Pastor Abdul Atani Foluka, a regional overseer, MFM Region 63, Ovile Koka. Also, Pastor Omotayo Ajayulis, a regional overseer in Region Southwest 88, Abel Okuta Ogun State. We also have in our midst Pastor Akishola Oluyinka, Regional Overseer of Ikola Regional Headquarters. We have in our midst as well Pastor Pekulia Adebanjo, the Regional Overseer of Region 121. Also in our midst, Pastor Taiwo Iden, Regional Overseer of Region 111. Also in our midst, this evening we have Pastor Oluwa Sheyi Otege, a regional overseer, region 121. Also, we have in Amis another regional overseer in charge of region 71, Pastor Ola Oga Moses. Let's celebrate Jesus. And before we proceed, I'm sure some of us will know these are brother. Today is a day of joy, and we need to rejoice and be glad in it. I don't know the kind of battle that has followed you down here to this place today. I know for sure you will not go home the same way you came in the name of Jesus. Let's celebrate grace in life of our brother, brother Gideon, as we praise the Lord. Brother Gideon. Hallelujah. Somebody celebrate Jesus. If you are happy, celebrate Jesus. On your seat, you are celebrating Jesus. If you are happy to be here this afternoon, shall you jump up on your foot and shout, Hallelujah! 
Oniduro mi eshewo. Somebody say, Agbejoro mi eshewo. Let me hear you. So say, Oche mi oniduro mi wasi masoro. I can hear your voice. Oche mi oniduro mi wasi sano. You shall be celebrated. Somebody scream! Come on! <laughs> Hey! 
hand. If you are not with your handkerchief, bring out your hand. Wave it to the God of Olukaya. God of Moses of Fire. Are you ready? Everybody, we will be waving it up and be jumping up as well. Let's go. Allahu Akbar. Just starting. You may please have your seats. Amen. Tell somebody by our side, say, we are just starting. How many of us believe in the call of God upon the Elijah of our time? Check, check one. Our Father and the Lord, Dr. Daniel Kola Wale Olukoya. If you believe that his God will do your own today, why don't you scream for Jesus? Make a joyful noise! A joyful noise! Amen. Please have your seats. Whatever battle that has followed anyone down here today, that battle will leave you before you leave this place in the name of Jesus. Let's have the ministration of Tenny Lori, Allwell Oket Iketchuku. For C. Adeniji and Delight Chukwe Maker. All the four children, please come out now. Tenny Lori, 
all well Ikechuku, Posi Adeniji, and Delay Chuku Emeka. Where are the children? Shout it loud, hallelujah. A Jericho destroyed, hallelujah. To God be the glory.
thank you for this wonderful sanctuary. Father, we thank you for what you have done for the people of this region. Thank you for your daughter here. Thank you for the pastors working with her. Thank you for the members of this region. Thank you for the hands that have put together this building here. We give you all the glory in the name of Jesus. Father, I stand here as your servant today and I decree that this sanctuary shall be a sanctuary of peace. Of glory. Of power. Of prayer. Of faith. Of evangelism. In the name of Jesus. Father, we soak the whole of this building to the foundations in the blood of Jesus. And Father, I decree and declare that anyone who comes in here with any trouble, the hand of God will touch them in the name of Jesus. I declare that this shall be a solution center Amen. to the glory of the name of the Lord. Amen. And so in the name of the Father, Amen. the name of the Son, Amen. the name of the Holy Spirit, Amen. I declare this sanctuary open. Amen. Shout hallelujah. To God be the glory. Mountain of Fire, Miracles Ministry, the Gulf Region 53, Alakbare, Peseta Region, Ultra Modern Sanctuary. This commission and dedicated this day, 27 January 2022, by Brother Daniel, uh, the host is Bishop Fitch. <laughs> Shout hallelujah. Let's have our seats. Let's have our seats. Why don't you put your two hands together for Jesus? Somebody said, The God of DK, look where I will do my own today. Say, The God of DK, look where I will do my own today. Why don't you celebrate our sister Buche Okeke as we take this prayer session to the next level? God bless you in Jesus' name. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Our Lord is good. I put you on your decay. I put you on your
Chukemika Delight, and I'm here to give a poem titled The Unchained. 
Whatever you're chained to, Jesus Christ has come to set you free. Whatever pieces of your past you hold on tight to, there is a Savior who paid your debt so you can let those memories be. Whatever you're so used to being defined by, the Son of God has come to speak true to those lies. And I know this to be true because he did all that for me. So what are you chained to? Are you chained to who you used to be? The things you did, the facts you hid, the things people look up to you, don't know about that you have no desire to admit. Do you live in a prison of secrets? Are you chained to what people once did to you? The memories of people that mistreated their past and said some terrible things to you, did some terrible things to you, did some things that will break God's heart and put the blame back on you. Do you live in a prison of abuse? Are you chained to what people once expect of you? The expectations that you can shake that every day is still a piece of you do you live in a prison of not feeling good enough no matter what you do are you chained to religion the list of do's and don'ts that you've accepted so you can get by with just a bare minimum the man-made ways that you've exalted hoping you can earn salvation do you live in a prison of traditionalism without a real revelation? Are you chained to your own sin, feeling like you know what you want to do, what is right to do, but still you do the opposite? Do you live in a prison of your own flesh that you feel you're stuck in? What are you chained to? Because I don't know about you, but I've been chained to all of these things. And at one point or another, all of these things have had control over me. I've been controlled by my desire and lived a life of hypocrisy. I've obeyed my flesh only in the name of proof that no one else was in charge of me and I found comfort in the rituals of religion so I could convince God hey at least I'm doing my duty and I've lived in prison for most years I've been living because I never truly got what Jesus did for me I did not get that he did not come to restrict me I did not get that he did not come as a policeman throwing a set of rules at me I did not get that he did not come to condemn me but rather because of sin I've been condemned already so Jesus came to be a friend to give his life to set his friends free I did not get that Jesus coming dying being buried and rising now changes everything for the way I've been I, for the way I've been used to being a slave but Jesus said that's not necessary I'm creating a new way your chains are who you were that not who you're supposed to be Romans 8 states clearly that if Christ be in you then our bodies are dead because of sin and our spirits are alive for we've been made right with God the same spirit of the world that raised Jesus from the dead is now living in us the same spirit of the one that put that resurrected Christ will give life to our bodies too. The same spirit of the Lord that resurrected Christ will change our lives. He will set us free from the chains of our sins. He will set us free from the pains of our past. If Jesus was not enough to resurrect us from the dead, he is not enough to save us from our lives of sin. If he is not enough to redeem us from all the places we've been, then he couldn't have been enough to raise Christ from the dead. So either way made alive or Jesus is still dead. But since he's not, since the tomb is empty, since the tomb is empty, since Jesus is no longer dead, we can now know and be rest assured that death has long been conquered. So let those shackles, so let those chains fall to the floor. May the metal of our shackles echo loudly around the world. We were once slaves but are bound no more. We were once dead but understands our ground no more. We are alive. We are free. We are children of the King and we belong long to the Lord. Thank you. Good day everyone. My name is Adeni Jolan Kosi. I am here to um, present my presentation and it's titled, Where do we keep our problems? And I, and I go, if you keep your problems in your head, you will go mad. If you keep your problems in your heart, you will have heart attack. If you keep your problems in your mouth, you will talk more about it and get more depressed. If you keep your problems in your house, you may have a broken home. If you keep your problems to yourself, you will die with it. If you ignore your problems, you are only prolonging the evil days. If you keep your problems with your neighbors, you might be mocked. If you keep your problems with your relatives, they might gossip about it. If you keep your problems with your friends, they might betray your trust. If you disclose your problems in the office, they might, they might avoid you. If you take your problems to school, you will surely fail. If you keep your problems in your face, you will look ugly. If you, keep, if you not take your problems to Satan, it will make it worse than, worse than before. Why not put your problems on the bag and hang it on the cross of Jesus Christ? 
Here are some words of assurance. First Peter 5 verse 7 says, Casting your cares upon him, for he cares for you. Matthew 11 verse 28 says, Come unto me, O ye that labor, and every learning, and I'll give you rest. Philippians 4 verse 6 says, Be careful for nothing, but in everything, with prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, make your request known unto God. Philippians 4 verse 19 says, for, the, for my God shall supply on my knees according to his riches in glory through Christ Jesus. Ephesians 3 verse 20 says, He is able to do exceedingly abundantly great, abundantly great above all that we ask or think according to the power that worketh in us. And finally, John 16 verse 33 says, In the world you will have tribulation. In me you shall have peace. But be of good cheer, for I have conquered the world. Thank you. Hey everyone, my name is Daniel Lyon Lurry. I am here to recite my memory, but which is taken from the book of 2 Chronicles chapter 2, verse 1 to 18. Open to your Bible and follow me. And it says, And Solomon determined to build an house for the name of the Lord and the house for his kingdom. And Solomon told out three score and ten thousand men to bear bodies, and four score thousand to you in the mountain, and three thousand and six hundred to oversee them. And Solomon sent Uram the king of Tyre, saying, As thou didst deal with David my father, and this said he said to build him an house to dwell there, even so do it me. Behold, I build an house with the name of the Lord my God. To dedicate it to him and to burn before his citizens, and for the continual shepherd, and for the burnt offering morning and evening on the Sabbath, and on the new moons, and on the solemn feast of the Lord our God. This is an ordinance forever to Israel, and the house which I build is great, for great is our God above all gods. But we is able to build him an house. See, the heavens and heavens of heavens cannot contain it. Who am I then that I should build him an house? Save only to burn sacrifice before you. Send me now, therefore, a man, calling to walk in gold, in silver, in brass, in iron, in purple, in crimson, in blue, and that can steal to grave with the corny men that are with me in Judah and Jerusalem, whom David my father provided. Some also that better trees, fair trees, and agam trees out of Lebanon. For I know that his servant can steal to cut Lebanon. He for I know my servant can steal to cut Lebanon out of timbers, and behold, my servant shall be with thy servant. I know my servant shall be with thy servant, able to prepare me timbers in abundance. For the house which I am about to be shall be wonderful great. And behold, I will give to thy servant the hours that call timbers, 30,000 measures of beauty wheat, 30,000 measures of barley, 30,000 bath of wine, and 20,000 bath of and 20,000 bath of oil. Then ran the king of Tara, answered the writing, which is said to Solomon, because the Lord has people, he has made the king over there. Uram said, moreover, blessed be the Lord God of Israel that made heaven and earth, who had given to David, the king, a wise son, and you put an understanding of Uram, my father's. And now I have set the corny man, and you with understanding of Uram, my father's, the son of a woman of the daughter of Dan. And his father was the man of Tara, skillful to work in gold, in silver, in brass, in iron, in stone, in timber, in purple, in blue, in crystal, in fire on Also to grave any manner of graving, and to have every divine bishop put to him, with the corny men and with the corny men of my Lord David thy father. Now therefore, the wheat and the barley, the oil and the wine, which my Lord has spoken of, let me send unto his servants. I will cut out of Lebanon as much as shalt and thou shalt need. I will bring it to thee in flood by sea to Joppa, and thou shalt carry it all to Jerusalem. And Solomon numbered all the strength that were in the land of Israel. After the numbering, where with David his father had numbered them, and they found an hundred, and fifty thousand, and three thousand, and six hundred. Eighteen, which is the last verse, say. And he said, Chisco, and ten thousand more to be bearers of body, and, for, and first got that to be yours in the mountain, and three thousand and six hundred overstars to send the people a work. Thank you. Good day, ma. Good day, sir. I greet you all now, Lord Jesus. Allow me to thank our heavenly Father for the wonderful love given to us as a church to congregate here today as we declare this great education in our church. It has been a great journey, but our Father, the King of Glory, has made it possible for us to see this event. I know many of us have been praying for this occasion and the building at large. We want to thank our Father for the work that has been done. As we dedicate it to the Lord today, so that I can continue doing the work God intended it to do. 
let his love be with us and we enjoy the blessings of the Lord always as the word of God in Philippians 1 verse 6 says being confident of this that he who began a good work in you we carry it unto completion on the day of Christ Jesus we feel privileged and honored to partner with our loving father as he uses us on earth of saving souls. Let me also thank the church pa- the church members who took part in making sure that all was well. It was not an easy process, but we thank God for the Holy Spirit that guided us and enabled us smoothly to make it so sad. Finally, I thank all the invited guests for hearkening to our calls and coming to this great occasion. We are very glad for the contributions you made today. Let us keep praying for our church and our sons so that the will of God can be done. Allah Pere, Citadel of Glory, the praise that our region, praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. <laughs> Greetings to you in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Amen. On behalf of the building committee and the entire pastorate, I welcome you all to the dedication of our new auditorium at MFM Alakbere, Pay Seta, Lagos Region 53. The construction of this building started shortly after the then Alakbere Zona headquarters. Became a, region, became a region in 2010. By the year 2013, the foundation of the building was laid by Pastor Olu Soji Oshosonya, the first regional overseer. The construction of the building progressed under Pastor Olu Soji Oshosonya, the then regional overseer. The present committee is the third since the foundation was laid. I am privileged to be the third chairman of the committee. The foundation will consist of over 70, 70 pie ponds. Also, uh, consists of uh, the main auditorium, the gallery, the children's church, the teenage church, and the administrative building. We also constructed the German floor and the ground floor, and the block work of the building was completed by Pastor Oshosonya before he was transferred to Iliquid region in 2016. Pastor Mrs. Faith Olumuiwa took over as regional overseer of the region in 2016. Under her, tremendous improvements were made on the building, and we actually moved from the old temporary auditorium to the new church building, where we are today. Since then, construction has progressed, has progressed rapidly. When she came in as pupil rotation pastor in 2016, she made it a point of duty to complete the church by encouraging members to donate generously towards the completion of the church. In her resolve to get the building completed on time, she created awareness among members on the need for the speedy completion of the project. One of such was showing leadership by example by donating all the funds that she was given 
when she went on pulpit rotation outside the country in 2018 to the building project. This made it possible for us to be able to move to the new building. While the construction work continued, the administrative block was 50% completed when we move in, when we move in. But today, the history of the region cannot be written without, the, without mentioning of her name, Dito for Pastor Odusoji Ochosoya, who actually completed the foundation. Today, we are, we are happy to be part of today's history-making events. We see this opportunity to thank our General Vasya for giving us the opportunity to build a befitting edifice for worship in this region. We are also grateful for the quick completion of the building. The concession given to us went a long way to complement the income generated by the church. Akan, Udo, and Anko. Today has been a history making day for MFM Alakare, Lagos Region 53, as we present the New Year gift to our General Overseer. Furthermore, we appreciate all members and non members of this church that have contributed generously to the completion of this building and those that wanted to contribute but could not do so due to circumstances beyond their control. Also, our thanks goes to, the, to all our next door neighbor, the First Square Gospel Church. They have supported us morally on this project. We thank you. Okay. Today, we are, we are all happy to be part of today's history making event. We see this opportunity to thank our general overseer for giving us the opportunity to build a befitting edifice for worship in this region. We, also, we are also grateful for the quick completion of the building. The concession given to us went a long way to complement the income generated by the church. We also thank our former general overseer, Pastor Olu Soji Oshosonya, for setting up the, the building committee that is making history today. Our thanks also goes to Pastor Mrs. Faith Olubuiwa for continuing the good work of Pastor Oshosonya. She was the moving spirit behind the speedy completion of the building. We also remember today some of those who, all those who started the foundation with us, but have joined the triumphant train to eternal glory. May we rise up for a minute's silence in honor of those who have departed. May their soul rise in perfect peace. Furthermore, we appreciate all members and non-members of this church that have contributed generously to the completion of the building. 
and those that wanted to contribute but could not do so due to circumstances beyond their control. Also, our thanks go to contractors who were involved in the construction of the building. Today, I've been easily making day for MFM Alakpere. Today, Region 53, to Lagos Region 53, as we present this New Year gift to our General Vasia. We thank our General Vasia for honoring our invitation to dedicate our auditorium today. We thank all those who have come to felicitate with us on this great occasion. The AGOs, the SROs, the regional overseers, the pastors, leaders, friends, where we shall and our next door neighbor, the Four Square Gospel Church. We pray for God's protection in this new year and beyond in Jesus' name. Thank you. Praise the Lord. If you are clapping for Jesus, please make it better. I know the God of Dr. Daniel Kola Lukoya that has done my own many years and still doing my own will do your own for you today in the name of Jesus. Just a few minutes, we want to listen to one of the numerous testimonies that God has wrought through the hands of God's servant. Dr. Daniel Kola Wale Lukwa. May I call on Boda Anu Luakbo Akinloe just for about two minutes and just listen to what God has done for this young brother after a period of nine years. Praise the Lord. Praise the living Jesus. Let somebody shout, Hallelujah! Please, the hallelujah is too small. Let's a living soul shout the bigger hallelujah. The reason of my hallelujah is this. I thank God for the God of this mountain of fire, Miracle Ministry. Because if not for this place or for this God, by now I will have been in a place that the people call condemned cell. Because the grief that that is charged against me is the case of murder but last year when a, when is about to do my judgment some people came to our custody in prison there we call them the we call the, okay we call those people the people that the, the evangelical ministry the, the deliverance evangelical ministry of mountain of fire so as they came they give us some book that we are going to fast for 70 days we now look at it, ah 70 days again because so many people came there to give us so many things like that and at the end of the day we will not see anything but like one of them said i should take this that is going to work for me but that is why i came here today to give god glory of what he has done in my life because the case even i myself and my family they all believe that i'm going to condemn on that day but god now changed all the evidences and everything charged against me he now turned into testimony. Let somebody shout hallelujah. Can you please put your two hands together for the regional choir of the Peseta region?
Bang, 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 bang. Jara, jara. Kabiti, kabiti, toda. Aye, fen, 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 toda. Oru, and you love her. the law.
Sir, I pray as you cry unto God in this dedication service, the God of Dr. Daniel Kola Wali shall answer you today in the name of Jesus. Before I'll call on the celebrants of today, the senior regional overseer in charge of MFM Lagos Region 53, Alak Barrier, the Peace Center region. Let me share this with you to stir up your own faith so that you will not call the same way you came here. Over 20 years ago, I was writing West African Examination WAEC and uh, we were just new to this kind of prayer we pray mountain of fire further than that. And my family was saying, no, which kind of prayer is that? Don't pray that kind of prayer. But what was the problem then? If I write exam for somebody or teach anybody, they will pass. I was writing my own WIAC examination over 23 years ago. And the WIAC will cancel the results. They will cease the center. The first time, the second time, the third time, the fourth time, the fifth time, the sixth time. So I was privileged to meet our father and the Lord. And he said, take this prayer, go and pray. After I prayed that particular prayer, by the seventh year, Wayek, where I did not purchase GCE form, they sent me result that they canceled the center. Then I know truly there are powers. But after I prayed the second prayer, the heaven over that academics opened, and it was nine A's in one city. I am praying for you today that the testimony that your life is waiting for will locate you today in the name of Jesus. I want you to celebrate the grace of God upon the woman, the man, the peace setter herself, who is the able senior regional overseer in charge of MFM Lagos Region 53, Alak Bere, the person of Pastor Faith, Olumuiwa. Let's celebrate the grace of God in our life. Shout hallelujah. Olu Washindara. The Lord is good. I want to appreciate God. I want to appreciate the ancient of days. I want to appreciate the I am that I am. I, am, I want to appreciate He that has called me from the womb. Before my mother gave birth to me, there was a word. At the age of 13, I met Jesus in the revelation. And a mantle was given to me at the age of 13 years old. And Jesus Christ visited me and took me to somewhere and told me, this mantle we give to you is a mantle of deliverance. Anywhere you go that you minister deliverance, to people, they will be delivered. That was at the age of 13 years. Today I am 52 years. So that should be 30, around 36, 38 years ago. And I thank God that when I got to this ministry, my father, my father, I want to say my father again, Daddy Daniel Kola Wole Olukoya, told me one thing. He said, You said you have calling, go and prove it. And here today I am proving what God has deposited in me from the womb. Amen. Uh, I bless the name of the Lord that God honors my faith. Almost six years ago, when I got to this place, the whole place was moody, flawed. Anytime rain falls, the whole church will be running at a scatter. This place was a foundation then. And uh, I told the church, I said, before I leave this place, by the grace of God, we shall build this place. And my father will come here. And before six years, here we are today. See the wonderful thing the Lord has done here. I want you to rise on your feet. I just want to say thank you to Jesus. 
Thank you, have your seats. I want to appreciate all the building committee. Uh, I want to appreciate uh, all the pastors. The pastors that left here. Pastor Obafemi. Pastor Abiodun uh, Obafemi. Pastor Adura Aliere Paul Aichibade, which is no more in Mountain of Fire. Pastor Shei Adams. Pastor Baba Tunde George. Pastor Olu Soji Oshon Soya. I want to appreciate. God in their lives for what the Lord has risen to do here. If they have not done something here, I wouldn't have met anything here. So I pray the Almighty God will bless them. Uh, because of time, uh, I will have give life. We have a word for them. Uh, after the service, please, I want to meet with you. We have some gifts for you for what the Lord has used to do here. The Lord bless you all in Jesus' name. Amen. And a hall. Behind a successful man, they, they said there's a woman. And behind a successful woman, there's a man. When we got here, we saw what we saw the way things were going on. My husband said, No. He said, if you have to follow what is on ground, you will not build this place before you leave this place. Say, let us treat this way, let us treat this way. And we follow his instruction. And that is why we are here today. Please, can you help me to honor my Olo Wori, Oko Faith, Oko Akoti, and Riele Dumare? Mui, where is him? Ah, ah, oh, the salon. Oh, yeah, let's see you. Praise the Lord! This is my husband, the gentleman, gentle to call to the call, too gentle, <laughs> you know, two old people cannot stay together. Uh, God bless you. Thank you. Uh, there's a reason why we are here for dedication and also for blessing. I'm sure you are here to you are ready to be blessed. Eh? Amen. In my role, I rise up. Mono mono so kale, I go rise Amen. My dad is here. You can see me throwing my shoulder. Baba mi wanle, eh? Ti ba baba wanle eruke imbomo, eh? My father is here. I'm not afraid. Amen. What I know, something will happen today. Amen. I want you to rise on your feet. Say, Father, I am ready. Say, Daddy Jesus, I am ready. Can you say it better? Say, I am ready to be blessed. I am ready to receive power. Say, Oh Lord, my Father. Say, Oh Lord, my Father. Oh Lord, my Father. Do that which no man can do in my life today. Do that which no man can do in my life today. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Shout hallelujah, shout it loud hallelujah, if you know you are receiving the luckiest breakthrough here tonight, 
Shout the loudest, hallelujah. You are the Lord, that is your name. You will never share your glory with anyone. You will never share your glory with anybody. Miracle. Only God's connect 
to this dedication service it means that there are great miracles that must happen in your life father we thank you for your children that were brought to this program. Thank you for the mightiness of your name. Thank you for your name which is above all names. Thank you for this sanctuary. Thank you for this new altar. Thank you for everything that you are doing here today. Once again, in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. We anoint, consecrate, dedicate this sanctuary in the name of the Father, the name of the Son, the name of the Holy Spirit. Father, continue to lay your hands upon your children. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Father, I thank you for your children who are here. I thank you because it is written. That though we walk in the flesh, we will not walk after the flesh. But the weapons of our warfare are not carnal. But the mighty true God to be pulling that of strongholds, casting down every imagination and every item that exhausts itself against the knowledge of God. Bringing it to captivity. All turns to the obedience of Christ. Therefore, any struggle presented here today, within or without, I pull you down in the name of Jesus. I pull you down in the name of Jesus. As many people as are here, and the enemy has been stealing from you. As many people as are here, you have been saying, When will my deliverance come? As many people as are here, and the enemy has been stealing from you. Right there, where you are this evening, receive your deliverance in the name of Jesus. Let your heaven roll like thunder. Receive it, receive it, receive it. Makapo la kaya bo shendera bo sopo la kaya bo. Yes, sir. Everything the enemy has stolen, that must be released. In the name of Jesus. Something is happening over there. That's right. What you have eaten or swallowed, and the enemy has been using against you. Fire is coming upon you where you are. And the yoke is being broken. Every arrow of witchcraft fired against anyone here. Let the arrows backfire in the name of Jesus. Backfire, 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 in the name of Jesus.
Let there be silence. Yes. Ben. Let her go. A feeling. Let her go. A phobia. You cannot hide. Oh, let's You've made a mistake. Ah, she say, oh, no, she. By following her here. Ni party tell the baby by him. Great mistake. Ah, she say, Lala. Evil hand of your grandmother. Oh, what buburu, ya, ya, re. That has been controlling your destiny. Don't dare ya, yo, mo, re. Fire is coming upon you where you are. No, on pali, on ni, to wa. That which was stolen from you since you were a baby. Recover them now in the name of Jesus. Recover them. 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 In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Thank you, King of Kings and Lord of Lords. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. In louder, amen. Let's have a seat. God bless you. I bring good greetings on behalf of my wonderful wife. Who has asked me to greet everyone present here today. May the Lord continue to bless you in Jesus' name. We are fortunate to have many of our pastors here. Many of the pastors here. God bless you pastors in Jesus name I know that I have seen Pastor Adesanya I know that I have seen Pastor Adeboya I know that I have seen many other pastors here. Please can you just rise up and wave at uh, them God bless you God bless you Amen Amen. Congratulations to Pastor Faith to Lumuiwa today and the family God bless you in Jesus' name. Oh, Lord, you and congratulations you to the members of this region. Thank you, Jesus. Well, my assignment here is over. Well, it's the dedication of the church which we have done. But well, let me share one or two things with you before I go. Exodus chapter 15 verse 11 Exodus 15 11 If you open your Bible there it would be a good place to start Who is like unto thee O Lord, among the gods, who is like thee? Glorious in holiness, fearful in praises, and doing wonders. Connecting to the God that doeth wonders. Connecting to the God that doeth wonders. That our popular song says, Who is like unto thee? O oh, Lord, who is like unto thee? O oh, Lord, among the God who is like the glorious in holiness and fearful in praises always do he won't as sing it again loud and clear he's like to thee 
passing from 1st Timothy chapter 3 verse 16 1st Timothy 3:16. 16 1st Timothy 3:16. 16 and without controversy great is the mystery of godliness. God was manifest in the flesh, justified in the spirit, seen of angels, preached unto Gentiles, believed on in the world, received up into glory. I've come to let you understand that the Lord whom we serve is a God of signs and wonders. I see somebody here tonight who we connect to the God of wonders. And the Lord of wonders will do wonders in your life in the name of Jesus. Our God is awesome. Our God does awesome things. His name is awesome. His activity is awesome. His power is awesome. When you connect to the God of signs and wonders, then you begin to see that your problems are not your problems. That the power of God has ability to swallow any problems the enemy may create. When the God of wonders opens a door for you, no one can close that door. Again. When the God of wonders closes a door. No man can open that door anymore. There is no problem too hard for that God of signs and wonders to, to solve. I don't know how you came here today and I don't know how you how you got here today. But one thing is certain. If you connect to God, the right God of signs and wonders, by the time you leave this place, those who saw you coming, we see a new you going away. In the name of Jesus. And that God of signs and wonders shall visit someone here in the name of Jesus. If you are that person, shout it loud, Hallelujah! One day, I receive a holy embarrassment. I was coming to Nigeria from another country. This airport is in London. So we're waiting to board the plane. I noticed a woman carrying a, a new baby walking towards me. When she got close to me, she threw the baby at me. I quickly dropped my back to catch the baby. I was, I was shocked. Shock. I was surprised. She, she said, Doctor, look here. Doctor, look here. Take your baby. My baby. So uh, I, I was confused. 
Now you know it's a plane going to Nigeria, all the Nigerians there. I could hear them gossiping behind me. What, what kind of man is this? You got a woman pregnant, and you don't even know. At the airport, they are showing you the baby. Later, the woman answered, Sir, I had no womb. The womb was taken out because of a surgical mistake. See, but I came to Palm of St. James. And there was a word from the Lord that there is a woman here. You have no womb. Oh, nee, your miracle shall shock your doctors and surprise your friends. He say, Yanure, Akpa, wo doctor, Elaya. Doctor, look at this is the baby. No womb. This is baby. Oh, no, Reo, Kosiliomo. That is the God of science. May you encounter that God in the name of Jesus. May you encounter that God in the name of Jesus. In the dictionary of the God of signs and wonders, the word impossibility does not exist. The Bible says, with man, this is impossible. Say, but with God, all things are possible. He does not recognize impossibility. Where the Muslim woman? who was coming to the headquarters. She was the only Muslim in their family. She was the only Christian in their family. All mother were Muslims. They called her. Said, Stop going to church. Said, I must go. Stop going to church. She said, I must go. So they called a family meeting and disowned her. So they are no longer part of her family. Everybody there is a Muslim. You want going to church. And when you want to go to church, self, you don't look for the quiet one. You went to those people who are saying, die, 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 die. So they disconnected her from the family. She was in Europe, this woman. This Muslim woman was that got born again was in Europe. The one, the one that was coming to the headquarters. Then she heard that uh, is a woman in their family was having a child. So she bought baby things, she bought materials to go and give it to her at the hospital. So she got to the hospital. I said, I'm looking for so 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 and so. The doctors. Our doctor. They shook their heads. No, but Mary said, sorry. Unfortunately, we just lost her. She just died. But the baby is okay. Who like to see the baby? Come and say, take me to her. Take me to her. So they, they took they took her to the lady. They are yet to take her to the mortuary. She put her hand in her bag. Brought out her anointing oil. This white hospital, all of them white. She opened the mouth of this woman. Put some oil into it. That was a cough. And she came back alive. And said, What am I doing here? He says, Sister, they say you are dead. I said, Yes. I was hearing your voice calling me, calling me. I was in a far place, calling me. Benny, 
mo wa ni bi kan ton ti na gidi gidi mo n po un re ton pe mi ton pe mi the doctor said awon doctor ta wa ni be what did you put in her mouth ki lo to da si lenu this is black magic eleyi ogun eyan dudunu black magic ogun eyan dudunu give it to us ba n pe fun wa ka ko an test it an lati lo yewo they struggle with her o ba fi pagba she gave it to them lo no ba fi le fun won when the members of the family in nigeria had what happened nigba ti awon epire to wa ni nigeria gbo to sele by the next sunday all of them were dead nigba to the sunday keji awon gbogbo won no kun ile si wa lohun that testimony gave back to other testimonies eri yi o eri yi lo wa bi awon yi somebody here your testimony shall give back to other testimony in the name of jesus let your heaven rule like thunder When the God of signs and wonders comes into your battlefront, nipa to lorun si ama ti ya ni ba di oju ogun re. That's the end of your battle. Nipe logun na parisi. The battle comes to an end. Ogun na a dope me because there is no reproach too hard for him to solve. Tori pe ko si e gan na ti ko le mu kuro. There is no problem too hard for him to solve. Ko si isoro na to le koko to be ga ti ko le yanju. That's why they call him the God of wonders. Tori na na se npe ni Olorun iya nu. The God of wonders is always at his best when man is at his worst olorun ya ni a ma se to daraju re nigba te riyan ba hu wa i have seen the god of wonders creating something from nothing mo ti ri olorun ya nu to mu riri jade lati nu airi i know a woman that that came to me and they say what is your womb is five blood mo ri obirin kan won to nbe ninu re iju ni but at the time she took a drink of another and prayed she went for another scan they said now we can see a baby nigba to ma fi mu ororo adura o tun lo fun aye wo miran won ni si omo nbe ninu re the god of signs and wonder that can convert five blood to baby olorun isi ama ise ya lo le so eju There is nothing too hard for him. When men have come to their wit's end, they stop. They, they don't know what to do anymore. Then the God of signs and wonders begin to operate. And that God never comes late. That God never fails. Yes, back. Odun melo kan sey sister that came to see me arabirin kan wa o wa ri mi she said excuse me sir, i want to marry won ni motor of gafara mo fe se gbe yawo but nobody is interested in me sugba ko se ni ti mo hun nobody is interested ko se en to de ni fe ko mi this lady arabirin yi is shorter than this puppet o kuru ju aga wa su yi lo so this i was looking at her mad bereni in baleri i said ah money ah I, said, I, i think i know why they are not interested how dey pe mo mo e ti mo se fe denu pe yawo ko i think i know why o dey ke mo e mo mo e di re so but i give you prayers to pray sugba won fun oladura to lo gba pray for seven days ba ha fun ojo meje do two days of praises and worship ojo meje ko fi se ejo sin ati come back and see me o pada wa ko wa re mi se do to lokoya do ki to lokoya if you can pray for me to ba le gba adura fun mi and i get married ti mo wa di en to loko i will give you a goat wo fun o le mu re so sorry i don't i said so i don't want goat ma mo fe e mu re Let's go and pray the prayers. She went. Instead of seven days, she prayed for twenty-one days. The next time she came to see me, she came with a tall man like that. I said, "This is the man who wants to marry me." That is the God of signs and wonders. That God shall perform wonders in your life in the name of Jesus. The yoke that can resist the God of wonders does not exist. He can sometimes even work wonders even if you don't believe. O le se se ya ni gba miran ti wo ko ba gba gbo. God does wonders even when you don't believe. Olorun a ma se se ya ni to ba gba gbo. The true a dead man 
into the grave of Elisha. The dead man was dead. You cannot even believe anything. <laughs> the man had no capacity to even believe. But by the time his body touched the bones of Elisha, came back alive. The young man they were going to bury he had no capacity to believe anything. Jesus just laid hands on the coffin and the person came back to life. There is somebody here. There is something called the bulldozing power of God. After this dedication, that bulldozing power of God will be released. And begin to clear your way and clear your way and clear your way in the name of Jesus. This is why the Bible says God has his way in the wind and in the wild wind. You won't know how it will move. The God of signs and wonders can even use your enemies to promote you. The God of signs and wonders has no, has no respect for any strong problems. The God of wonder is not surprised at anything. It's also a God of 24 hour breakthrough. I see somebody here too that you shall receive a 24 hour miracle in the name of Jesus. Because he is a God of signs and wonders, Joseph rose Joseph from prison to palace in 24 hours. Mordecai. Mordecai. I will have been killed and hanged by Eman. Receive his breakthrough within 24 hours. Blind Bartimaeus. I was crying out, Jesus, have mercy on me. Okay, Jesus, no, no. son of David, have mercy on me. Receive his healing within 24 hours. That lame man at the beautiful gate left home that day to beg. But he came back home walking. The story of Moses at the desert changed within 24 hours. I'm praying for somebody here. Does your story shall change to glory. You shall have miracles. I will swallow other miracles. In the name of Jesus. Let me share one more testimony. <laughs> Which you must have heard me sharing before. But let me share it for the sake of one person here today. This woman came to my office crying. The husband I just brought in a strange woman after 20 years of marriage. I said, why, why, did, why did he do that? She said, Joe, because I have six girls. And they want a boy. They're from the eastern part of the country. They said they want a boy. So the members of the man's family came to Lagos. They said, our wife we love you but you have had six children it's enough don't kill yourself we will uh, give your husband this new wife so that this new wife can give birth to a baby boy so, so Joe as you speak they brought the woman and I asked her a question do you still want to get pregnant? 
She said, Yes, sir. If it's a boy, I said, Okay. Go back home. Tell your husband to send away the strange woman. And tell him that before this time next year, you'll have a baby boy. If, if me that was talking to her, I said, You'll have a baby boy. So she, she said, my husband is not a Christian. My husband is not born again. My husband is very stubborn. I said, Jesus is more stubborn than your husband. So she went home. She didn't know how to present it to the man. I said, my husband, um, uh, our pastor said, you should, you should send away this new woman. I say, your pastor. So I should send away my new wife. And that I will have a baby before this time, a baby boy before this time next year. I say, your pastor. Who is he? What? Which? Who is, who is your pastor? She mentioned my name. The man said, okay. Okay. If it is that one, it's me that is calling that one. If it's that one, I will listen. But if it's, but if it's another pastor, I will not listen. I, I will listen. And, and he sent away the strange woman. This sister got pregnant. When they would go to the hospital to do the first scan, they were, they were triplets. Triplets. And when they were born, they were all boys. This testimony converted all the members of the family to mountain of fire, <laughs> including the ones who are in America. Your testimony shall give back to other testimonies. In the name of Jesus, the God of 24 hours shall visit you. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. This evening, I want you to surrender your life to Jesus if you have not done so before. And I want you to have what you call violent faith. Believe God. Because immediately we begin to pray now. That God of signs and wonders will begin to move all over the place. And I don't want him to pass you by. Rise to your feet now. All eyes closed. All eyes closed. In case you are in this meeting tonight, whether you are inside or outside, and you are not born again, you have not surrendered your life to Jesus. I don't want you to miss out on the blessings. So, wherever you are, just raise up your right hand so I can pray for you. You want to surrender your life to Jesus today here. Raise up your right hand. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Those of you raising up your right hand, take a bold step of faith. Find your way quickly to this altar here. Come and join me at the front here. Come out here. So I can pray with you. Find your way to the altar. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, Lord. I say yes, yes, Lord. I say yes. Lord. Remain standing, remain standing. Let them stand. I say yes, Lord. I say yes, yes.
you at the altar, I congratulate you. Taking the most important decision in life, bow down your heads, close your eyes, and see what I'm going to say after you. So, Father, in the name of Jesus, I come before you now, Lord Jesus, come into my life, take control of my life, and from today, say bye-bye to the devil, I enter into the kingdom of life, in Jesus' name, amen. I'm going to pray with you now. Father, I thank you for your children here who have surrendered their lives to Jesus. Keep them standing by your power. Lay your hands upon their lives. Today, that you have surrendered their life to Jesus, your life will no longer remain the same. Any problem you brought here will become a forgotten story. In the name of Jesus, Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Open your eyes, look at me. Just for a few minutes, just follow this brother here. God bless you. Just follow them for one or two minutes. Then you can join us later. God bless you. On the mountain, in the valley, on the land, and in the sea, on the mountain, in the valley of the land and in the sea. Hallelujah. Glory, O King, in the land of the land. Glory, O Hallelujah. You are worthy to be praised, oh Lord. You are worthy to be praised, oh Lord. You are worthy to be praised, oh Lord. You are worthy to be praised, to be praised, oh Lord. I want to be glorified. You say you are worthy to be praised, oh Lord. You are worthy to be praised, oh Lord. Alpha, Omega, you are worthy of our praises today. We are worthy of our praises today. Alpha, Alpha, Hallelujah. Omega, you are worthy of my praises today. You are worthy of my praises today. Alpha, 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 Omega, you are worthy of my praises today. Go on, go on. Shout hallelujah. If you brought water, oil, handkerchief, pictures, this is the time to bring them out. 
aso inuju aworo abonkon agbogbo lati mu oja de lele yi If you didn't bring any of those things, don't worry. Just stretch your right hand towards me here. Father, in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you for these faith materials. Let your anointing and power flow upon them in the name of Jesus. Use them as instrument of healing. Instrument of deliverance. Instrument of power. Instrument of glory. Instrument that would melt away every infirmity. That would melt away every bad luck. That would melt away every plantation of darkness. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' name we pray. You may put the oil and the water and the mantle away now. And listen to me. Listen to me very, very carefully. I just want to teach you how to pray now. And the manner of the prayer I want you to do. Many, many years ago, long time, I was in our church in Wari. And if I bring to preach in that place before, you preach English, somebody translates to pidgin English. So that day, they gave me a very, very interesting interpreter. I began to read from the book of Isaiah 35.8. He says, a highway shall be there. And a way shall be the way of holiness. The way fearers said the unrighteous shall not move therein. So, but the way fearers do fools they will not err therein. When I say the way fearers do fools they will not err therein. My interpreter said hmm. The people where they walk out for the road. Even though they be mumu, they're not going to miss the road. So I looked at his face. I said, what you are saying is better than what I'm reading. And I said, there are many people here who have been troubled by witchcraft powers. He said, hmm, People buckle here. Well, which? It is a nepa bill for their head. And if you look at it, it's correct. Because nepa will bring the bill whether you pay, whether you use light, you don't use light. And I wanted the book of Matthew. Who says, as from the days of John the Baptist, until now, the kingdom of heaven suffered violence. The violent take it by force. When I said the violent take it by force, he said, the people will not go gree. They will take them by gree gree. How do you want to take them today here? The violent take at it by force. The people will not go green. They will take them by. Close your eyes now. I want you to pray like a man or woman from another world. Because already this place has been surrounded by the angels of the living God. We are not here for jokes. We are here for serious business. We are here so that every enemy of your destiny can be disgraced. Can you shout this loud and clear? Enemies of my next level. Enemies of my next level. 
Your voice is not loud enough. You are a liar. Die. In the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and begin to decree. Enemies of my next level. Makapola kaya bo shendera bo. Yes. Yes. Open your mouth. 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 In Jesus' name, we pray. Uh-huh. We're, 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 getting we're getting results. They're getting results. That's right. That spirit upon you, that sister, that is encouraging you to kill yourself. I bind it and I cast it out in the name of Can you shout this loud and clear? Battles of my parents. That have become my battles. Can I hear the sister shouting this? Sisters, I want you to be more aggressive. Brothers, let me hear you roaring like thunder. Everybody together. The name of Jesus. Something is up over there. That's why Jesus brought you here. Yes. Receive. Receive. You're breaking. Receive it. 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 Yes. Yes. That's the power of God. That's the power of God. That's the power of God coming upon you. That's the power of God coming upon you. Yes, you cannot say, you cannot hide that power of God. Move, 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 move. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Uh-huh. Yes, that's the power. With a loud voice. With a loud voice. God of wonder. My life is available. Visit me now. In the name of Jesus. Aha! Aha! Receive divine visitation. Receive that divine visitation in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. If you have any sickness in any part of your body, this is the time to lay your hands on that place. Father, I thank you. Because your word says, you yourself bore our infirmities and took away our sickness. The chastise of our peace is upon you. And by your stripes we are healed. You, the spirit of infirmity, heaviness in the head, lump in the breast. Hard breathing, fibro in the womb, evil cough, evil cold, heavy head. That place is not your habitation. Lose your hold in the name of Jesus. 
Receive your healing. Receive it. 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 In the name of Jesus. Aha. Yes. You the owners of infirmity. Carry your load now. In the name of Jesus. Check your body now. Put your faith into action. Begin to do what you could not do before you got here. If you cannot walk, walk. If you're having pain in your body, check the pain. Check it very, very well. The power of God is still moving from person to person. Yes, don't be afraid. He's gone. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Just check your body well. If you know that you brought a sickness, it has disappeared. Don't let the devil put it back. Find a way to me at the altar very quickly. Find a way to this altar very quickly. Whether you are outside or inside, we are going to wait for you. Find a way here very quickly. Stretch your right hand towards me now. Thank you, Jesus. Stretch your right hand towards me. Thank you, Jesus. Father, let your anointing fall upon these hands. Let every yoke of the enemy be broken. Let his hand carry the fire of God. Let it carry the power of God in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' name we pray. If you have any sickness in any part of the body, smite it 21 times, shouting, go back to your senders. Let's go! Do it well, do it well. Aha. 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 Amen. Check your body now. Check it very well. And quickly find a way to this altar. Whether you are outside or inside, just find a way to the altar. Don't, don't let the devil put the problem back. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Can you shout this loud and clear? Battles are sign to damage my happiness. Your voice is not loud enough. Death. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Someone else, you have just recorded an outstanding miracles. But you are shy. Don't be shy. Don't let the devil put it back. You say, I want to check again. No, it's gone. Find a way to the altar. Oh 
God of signs and wonders. I am available. Manifest your power in my life. In the name of Jesus. Manifest your power in my life. name we pray. A louder amen. A louder amen. Sit down for one or two minutes. Pastor, please tell us some of what the Lord has done here today. Pastor Emmanuel, are you not here? Please take the testimonies. Please let Pastor Mario take the testimony. Pastor Man. Man, uh -huh. God bless you. Is there? Let somebody shout hallelujah. God of wonder is here. And a lot of things has happened in the course of the ministry of our Father and the Lord. Mommy, tell us what happened. Straight to the point of your name. Praise the Lord. When I came here early this morning, because my mommy told us that. Today is our prayer meeting, and today we are going to dedicate the, this uh, auditorium. So I was really heavy, even my ear, eyes, my head, I cannot get myself. But immediately that he declare this uh, prophecy. I thought I'm free. I can get myself now. What are the things you could not do before? Yes, yes, God has done it in my life. I say may his name be... Your healing is permanent in Jesus' name. If you clap, you are the next online to receive testimony now. My name is Brother Daniel. My name is Brother Daniel. I, I came here through one of my pastors, Pastor Tao, in the region 38. He told me I was in serious inside my bone. That's my lean. I cannot feel lean, I cannot feel go to I cannot feel. Many things have happened to me. I'm, a, I'm an engineer. I don't know where that arrow came from. But as Dari, the Lord released that prayer, Dari, Dr. Diko Luka released that prayer for me this, this night. Say, the battle that the battle of your parents that 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 thank you jesus say as he read that prayer as i pray finish as i fall i stand up i see myself get up getting better even though i go i go weekly deliverance the tear say it's getting better i get weekly deliverance in a uh, prayer city as he uh, as i came back the tea came down small but as i came down here where that i saw that today today as i saw that he read that prayer point i'm getting better free your healing is permanent in Jesus' name. Somebody say, part to send down. Praise the Lord. My name is Sister Joy. For the past one week now, I've not been able to tune anything. I can't even touch my, my jaw like this. I can't touch it. I can't, I can't, I can't chew anything from this side. But as, as I said, we should, we should smite our... Um, I, I just went to 21 times and the pain has disappeared. Now I can tune. I can even hit my jaw now. Praise the Lord. Your healing is permanent in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord. My name is Guinea Kandamani. I was just coming back from work. I went to drop my kids. I never planned to come. My husband was here. He's here. So he came before me. But when he called, I was around Ogudu Road. He called me and said, how far? I say I'm going home. Has you on come? He said no. I said I can't. Have it. He said yeah, it's like you has arrived though. I just parked my car somewhere to go to enter bike, keke bike, enter here. As I was coming, my head. I never wanted to tell because my head was feeling like ten pieces in one head. I was coming. I was carrying my head like this. They say go upstairs. I said no. Let me stay here. When Gio says that angels have surrounded this place, I felt cold. I've never. Somebody shout fire! 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 
when, when he was praying, I was praying and all the chairs surrounding me was scattering. Glory be to Jesus. The owner of people know just carry the alone. Your healing is permanent in Jesus. Praise the Lord. My name is Sister Esther Awodia. Um, I've been feeling this something long ago, more than 10 years. I feel heaviness on my head. But today, when our Father in the Lord was ministering, that he said we should pray. When I was praying, I felt something came out of my ear. I felt it something. I put my, hair, my hand in my ear. Then the stiff neck, I have stiff neck. Even when I'm passing, people will be looking. I said, well, God. Your healing is permanent. The evil arrow has returned back to sender in Jesus' name. My name is Bukola Lebite. When I come here today, since last week Tuesday, I'm not feeling fine. I have a headache. When I come here, when I was taking this, it should be pain. I was paying that prayer. It should be knock away all the other was paying us. And not everything leave me alone. And I thank God today for my life. That I thank God today. For you I pray. I thank God for today. Your healing is permanent in Jesus' name. My name is Scholastica. When I came here, my, my clothes was wet because ever since I did operation, I've been having pulse. But since I entered here, I believe that after Daddy said we should smart it 21 times, that the thing has dried. Even though I cannot assess it now, but with my faith, I believe it has dried in Jesus' name. Your healing is permanent in Jesus' Let's clap for the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. Praise the Lord. My name is Brad Gerald. I came here with this hand. I couldn't lift it up since 1st of this January. But while the prayer was going on, everything got... Can you lift it? Roll it now. Your healing is permanent in Jesus' name. My, my name is Favor. I came here from SS and I believe that God has changed me to AA. Hallelujah. My name is Sister Jackson Longumi. I did not know we are supposed to talk. That was why I went back to sit down. Some time ago, when I had the Holy Ghost baptism of fire, my tongue twisted in a vigil in the church but i noticed that it has gone back but today when geo said what has been stolen from you receive it back my tongue twisted again and for like three four minutes it was still twisting so i give grace and all in practice hallelujah you are getting back what the enemy took from you before you leave here today my name is sister evelyn Osiebe amaka for some time now for like three going to three years now i've been strong but god has been keeping me going but immediately the uh, that the geo said we should smite the place that is paining us so i smite the place seriously suddenly my back chest the pain just moved away i say may his name alone be glorified let's clap for these signs and wonder as you clap your testimony is coming right to, to you now shout hallelujah Rise to your feet now. Two arrows to fire back to the camp of the enemy. Fire it back very well. I fire back every arrow of witchcraft in the name of Jesus. Fire back every hour of witchcraft in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. I fire back every hour of infirmity in the name of Jesus. Fire it back in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Amen. If you are that person, they are always sucking you. Good place, you lose it. Good place, you lose it. 
Find a way to this altar now. And be on your knees. You know yourself. For that person here too. Anytime you want to move forward, a serpent appears in your dream. Find a way to this altar too. And be on your knees. Everybody will pray this loud and clear. Those of you at the altar pray like a mad prophet. Can everybody shout this loud and clear? Powers are sign to rubbish my destiny. You are a lad. In the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and pray. It. Jesus. 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 Aha, 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 aha. In Jesus' name we pray. Those of you at this altar, begin to shake your head. Shake it vigorously. Certain things are going out. That's, that's the power of God coming upon you. That's the fire of God coming upon you. Let her go. Let her go. Let him go. Let her go. Let him go. Let her go. You cannot hide. Bapaka sata. Ribo soponda kaya bo shente rabo santa. You cannot hide. Enough is enough. Get out of the womb. Get out of the head. Thank you, Jesus. Father, lay your hands upon your children. The Egyptians you have been seen today, you shall see them no more in the name of Jesus. Your story has changed. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' name we pray. We go back to your seat rejoicing now. Thank you, Jesus. 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 Say, wickedness of the wicked. A sign against me. You will now shout loud, Expire! In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Bring out your special tithes and offering for this meeting. We are going to use this as a point of contact. Father, let this offering open doors. Bring breakthroughs. In the name of Jesus. As many as are giving now, let their lives no longer remain the same. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Now, hold this offering close to your mouth. And pray like this. With this offering, I break the backbone of poverty. Can you say it loud and clear? Open your mouth and begin to pray.
In Jesus' name we pray. Don't go out, please. We are still praying. Don't go out yet. I beg you and I pray you, don't go out. Whenever we, immediately you drop your offering, just go back to your seat because the next prayer you must pray it before you leave this place. It is very, very important. You will cry like this as you are dropping your offering and you are going back to your seat. You will cry like this. That every spirit of poverty in my family, my life is no more your candidate. Die, 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 die. Open your mouth, drop your offering, and go back to your seat very quickly. In the name of Jesus. Yes. Every spirit of poverty. My life is no more your candidate. You must die. Now. Die. Now. Die. Amen. Praise the Lord. Please, Sunday is going to be our praise Sunday. So all... Uh, guests, all our guests, please come on Sunday. We are going to meet you. Please, we want to give a word to uh, the three pastors Pastor Bafemi, uh, Pastor Shukoya, and uh, Pastor uh, George. So, where is our word? And also to our building committee. Please let the building committee come to the front and let the shaman come to the front. We have a token for you. Please, where is it? Thank you. Oh, yeah. Baba, put it down, put it down, put it down. Don't do it. Time has gone. Let the building committee come to the front. The building committee. Mommy. Mommy, busy. Please, ma. The building committee. Please come to the front. We have a token for you. Building committee, please. 